Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So let's find out what is going on in your love life, Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, I see some very interesting energies that are caring for you. I feel like there's a sense of feeling overwhelmed and overpowered by a set of circumstances that are beyond your control. I feel like there's a deep sense of emptiness in your life right now. You could be feeling excluded, you could be feeling unloved, you could be feeling neglected. And I feel like it's becoming more and more apparent as you go through, you know, this journey of life. There's something in your world right now that has been, you know, sort of suffocating you. It could be your current set of circumstances. It could be external circumstances in a way in which you're being influenced by other people's decisions, other people's, um, you know, viewpoints. You know, there's so many factors that come into play. But I feel like there's something that has become very apparent to you. And that has a lot to do with your sense of loneliness, the sense of emptiness. There's a void here that I'm picking up from your energy Right? I'm going to explore this more and I'm of course going to um, see for a way that you can resolve whatever it is you're dealing with right now. What is connecting the two of you? Now, I feel like the interesting thing here is that you never lost hope in this connection. You never lost hope when it comes to this specific person. There's something here about your energy which indicates there's parts of you that feel so alone, so isolated, so much so to the point where you're being forced to evaluate things and to heal what is broken. But this healing is happening on the inside of you. It is a process. It's not going to happen overnight. But the fact that you're taking those baby steps do indicate to me that eventually you're going to get to a place of happiness, hopefully, right? So I feel like there's an energy here of someone caring about you, someone having a lot of love, a lot of romantic feelings. There's an energy here which I'm picking up, you know, it's indicating to me that this individual, they wear their heart on their sleeve, but at times they can be the type of person that can uh, be a little bit stubborn or a little bit rigid. They could be uh, brought up in a certain sort, certain sort of way. They could be, um, you know, very traditional in nature. I get those type of energies, but let's get some further clarification. I feel like whomever you're dealing with still has romantic feelings for you. I feel like whomever you're dealing with uh, still cares about you very much so, okay? Whether you choose to believe that or not. So let's see. Get some clarity. Right. So I feel like this person is the type of individual, the person you're dealing with, they've made, you know, a lot of um, compromises in their life. It feels like this individual is the type of person that... Um, they come off as being very selfless, you know, somebody that is very pure, very good, very kind, somebody that constantly sacrifices for other people's happiness and they go above and beyond what is required of them. And I can understand why you fell in love with this individual. For a small handful of you, you could be dealing with an individual that is already in some type of uh, 
relationship with another person, although it doesn't have to be that way. They could have um, some sort of, you know, um, dealings with another individual from the past, you know, who knows. But uh, there's this element here of this person, you know, they're the type of individual that would sacrifice a lot for the greater good. It feels like that sort of energy that I pick up from this individual. Very unusual. But yeah, there are people like this. Right. I feel like what's connecting the two of you at this point of time is a sense of um, grief, worry, anxiety, feeling kind of helpless. And there's remorse, there's regret, there's loss, there's suffering. Obviously, there's a history here between the two of you, uh, but you and this individual um, may have come across one another, fallen in love with each other, and it feels like star-crossed lovers. It feels like that type of energy which I pick up from these cards right now. There might have been things you've said. There might have been things they said. There's a sense of regret there. There could have been a set of actions that were taken. Maybe it was um, really testing the waters, but it did cause pain. I feel like um, there's a sense of sadness over how things are right now between both you and this person concerned. Right. Now, your energy is showing to me that there's certain things that have happened in the course of the situation, and it has really sort of stirred the waters, right? I feel like there's this energy of rough seas coming across, especially with the depiction of this card. So that could be your emotional sense of uh, grappling on the situation, you know? It feels like you're feeling uh, very overwhelmed because something went too far. Or perhaps a game was played in the set of these circumstances and it pushed the boundary in a way in which it wasn't really good for you or this person concerned. You know, I feel like there's this energy of tearing at each other's soul and revealing what's bare and finding out that there is innocence and purity inside of it all. Someone might have been looking for evil. Someone might have been looking for corruption, deception, madness, something really ugly and tainted because there could have been betrayals before the two of you met one another. So I feel like you were either looking for flaws in this individual or this person was looking for flaws in you in some shape or form. And I feel like the damage was done, you know, as a result of not believing in the purity of this connection and what it truly meant for both you and this individual concern. So what do we have here right now? We have two individuals. One person here, you know, has love for you. And I feel like your energy is sort of, uh, you know, sort of looking at the loneliness that you now find yourself in, the sense of emptiness, the sense of sadness, the sense of, you know, viewing the world and realizing that happiness is only to the extent of sharing it with another individual. Some people can find happiness on their own, you know, if you're a monk and you choose to live on the top of a mountain, um, you know, they have that sense of peace. But for most people, companionship is an important element of life, you know? So I feel like there's uh, a lot that has been said and done, a lot of chaos that has been created in the situation. Let's get some clarity. Someone is really unnerved in this situation because I feel like whenever there's an offer or an extension of one person to the other, it creates hostility, it creates conflict. It feels as if one individual doesn't trust the other because of the fear of ulterior motives. It feels as if there's this energy of not truly, um, you know, taking the situation at face value. That's how things have turned up between both you and this person concerned. There's a lot of trust issues here in this situation. 
So what I get is that uh, perhaps you are looking for an opportunity to extend yourself to this person, but your person is interpreting your actions in light of causing drama, chaos. It could be vice versa in certain instances, but I feel like in terms of finding that outlet of expression from one human being to another, the energy is kind of blocked off. So, um, you know, whether you're receptive to it or your person is receptive to receptive to that communication there's a hesitation there because it comes with what is going to happen as a result of that is it going to lead to more fighting is it going to lead to more um, communication that is snide and cruel you know versus loving and caring with compassion Yeah, so if there are plans that are being made, if there is, you know, an indication of wanting to come down from the tower and completely immerse oneself in this connection, there's also doubts, there's fears, there's the hidden element, you know, there's the uncertain element. What does it bring in light of everything? So I can see here yeah, that the two of you have found yourself in a predicament where you're afraid to do anything. This person is afraid to engage in anything. And so it's a standstill. It feels like a standoff, you know. It almost feels like those kind of scenes where you have those cowboys and they're ready to pull their gun and uh, shoot one another. But there's a hesitation of what if the two of you actually move towards one another and hug one another, you know. So it feels like that. The battle lines are drawn. There's no certainty that it might lead to a fight. There's clearly unresolved issues here. There's clearly energies which indicate a fear of so many factors. So Gemini, what I get from your energy is that this has taken a toll on you and for some of you there's one of two desires you could be experiencing right now the desire to come back together with this individual or the desire to break free and start afresh with a completely different person a completely different set of circumstances you know that is on your mind whether you choose to acknowledge it or not and it's okay because sometimes certain situations can be a little bit difficult and sometimes it might be easier to go in a different direction. So what I'm going to explore in the extended is your person's mind, heart and soul energy. What is this conflict? Why is there an anticipation of it? Is it a right thing for you to do to move on, move forward, start afresh, find new love? Where would that lead you? And in terms of, you know, the desire to heal things, why is it that such plans in terms of this entire connection is fueled with so much doubt, so much fear, so much hesitation to really believe in one another because it feels like a romantic situation is being tossed aside for something that is easier. And the great fear there is that if you pursue the easier path, you may come across some of these problems with the next person and the next person and the next person until the lesson is learned. So what I'm going to look at in the extended as well is what is the lesson here? What can you take from it and how can you learn from it? Can you fix the situation given what I'm going to establish in the extended and what is the right way to do so? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I hope you guys have a splendid day. You can find the link in the description box below. Take care.